We're on. Here we go, we're on. We are on. Hello. So, we are Dan and Mike. Welcome. We're here to help you with your online fitness business. To my house. This is... In any way we can. In, in the house. Just probably should do, actually. Probably should just do this in your house. Get something similar done. Yeah. Easier, isn't it, that way? Yeah, could Good do. Good deals, isn't it? Um, anyway, you've got enough space. We could in England. Got enough space. Ooh, no. We'll have to do one filming session for a whole year, probably then, won't we? Every three months, four months, or whatever it would be. Um, anyway, we're just having a chat now. We realised you're here, so sorry about that. Welcome. So what are we going to talk about today? Who are we? We're Dan and Mike. I've done that. Have you? Yep. You've not done your bit. My bit. Follow. <laughs> it's as simple as that now, isn't it? It's just that. I can cut that in now. Um, is AI going to take over? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's fucking scary shit, by the way, isn't it? Pretty scary. Yeah. AI. How do you know um, that I'm not AI? Uh, because AI would do a much better job than you do right now. That's how yeah, I know. You got me on that. Um, yeah. Imagine if AI made that. That many mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I wouldn't be scared it's more of it. efficient. I wouldn't be scared of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, I think... I think I think AI is something that I think with us we we never really jump on trends right we we we'd kind of usually sort of say look stick to the basics they work all this sort of stuff I don't think AI is a trend I think you know like obviously you got trends like Bitcoin and VAs and <laughs> you still got your Bitcoin yeah I, think I it's have as well yeah. it's, it's gone up it's gone up a little bit yeah. um, I think this is AI is, is going to change the way the world functions and, and and works I think if you if you do look into it a little bit. It's quite scary how advanced it could get. Um, I know you've watched some Alex Hormos videos on it, so you now know everything about it. Yeah, I'm an expert. That's how it works. Yeah. Um, and uh, also, I, I've read his book as well, so that's why we're doing the mentoring. Because um, yeah, yeah. anyone that reads the book can... The offer, the package. That's it. There. Really it's the package. The package. Uh, can I tell you about a wine situation? The wine. The yeah. wines. Yeah. You know, the expensive wine. Uh, the, yeah. just oh, just the taste of it. Taste. They, it was better. And they all picked expensive. the, the, yeah. Yeah. No one. So, so that's content. Yeah. Snip that out for real. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and, I, and I, I've seen a couple of people on, on <clears throat> Instagram. I've only seen a couple. I was probably loads of them out there. Um, you know, doing the whole scaremongering of like, you know, AI is going to take your job if, unless you buy my course. <laughs> you know, one of them. And everyone's got a course on AI now. And I think it's too premature to do that. Like there's stuff it can do, and, and but I do think that we're on this cusp of like it's own it's going to accelerate at such a rapid pace that you kind of do need to be aware of its capabilities and what it can do and what it can't do. Um, just to give you an example, um, I know of a piece of software that's linked to. Oh, that's me on my phone. Was you? Was it? Um, a piece of software that's linked with AI that you have to pay for, but effectively you can say. A, I bet a, you've not paid for it. No chance. No. Nope. It's about 100 to 200 words. You have to just say it as a script. And you can then type anything into it and it can produce a voice note in your voice based on what you've said in, because of all the tones and basically the words that ran out. It covers everything. And that's what, again, people are going to start getting their VAs to do is that it's like, no, it is me because I'm doing a voice. And you won't be able to tell the difference. And I think in our industry, it will be used extensively by those at the top, those who are prepared to spend the money on it. Not me. <laughs> Mike, Mike. <laughs> yeah. Do they do a free trial? Do they do a free trial version? Dan can do a free yeah, trial. Free Quit off. Just, just before they build. Just before. Yeah. That's me. Um, How many email addresses do you have to set up different oh, free trials? Loads. loads. As long as I've got 24, that's a, that's a year, that's two years worth usually. Yeah. That's fine. So okay, fine. great. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, I think at, at some levels it's not really going to, going to make a difference hugely, but I think you need to be aware about how it works. Um, I've seen people trying to use chat GPT. I always find that really hard to say quite a lot for like creating content, which I think is a bad idea. Yeah. Um, because I think that it is generic, boring, no personality, no matter what you say to it, make it funnier, make it more less. It doesn't, it's not funny. It's just not, uh, and it's not unique to you in any way, shape or form, but where it will come in handy is doing those mundane <coughs> things within your business that you just don't like doing. But there's also stuff now it can come up with. It can create logos. Yeah, it can do brand logos, graphics, branding, colors, graphics. Websites. I think now I've seen people say you can do, you can make a website now. which You is, can sketch a website. Pretty handy, isn't it? Yeah. You probably do that. Yeah. <laughs> probably, we haven't got one. Um, but I do think it's something that you should take an interest in and spend some time looking into it. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I think... I think... Um, I think AI will probably take over inboxes at some at some stage. Um, it's been there for a little while anyway. Like, do you know if you if you were I don't know, let's just say you were contacting EE. Let's just say mm. there's always a chat bot. 
you know, that yeah. asks you a series of questions, prompted and so on and so forth to take you to the right place. It's always been there. The, uh, limited, limited, limited. Like, yeah, hasn't it? limited but as limited. obviously it refines now and it starts to find your tone and things like that and it it's soon well, not soon i don't know how soon i'm not no I'm, you know obviously not an expert um in anything um but it will be able to recreate and duplicate your you through text and like like dan said they're probably through um through voice recognition and so on and so forth um, and even video, I would probably hazard a guess at some stage. Um, there's, there's definitely software out there now. This is a bit too high, it? There's definitely software, or not not, not high enough, actually. <laughs> uh, just, yeah. Is that, that good? Um, yeah, no, there's, there's software out there now, I think, that it can change your your mouth um, to, to say different words and so on and so forth, the whole deep fake stuff. So, again, within a coaching business, you could do... Um, <laughs> you could, Eventually, probably check-ins. Um, probably, if there's enough data, um, that's going to take a, a long period of time for uh, you know a computer to make decisions based off human emotion and being able to coach. That's probably a long, long way off. I think it'll be with it'll be within written text sooner. You know, the type form. Yeah, it'll, it'll be, be you'll be able to respond to a type form. Yeah, sooner. it'll be it'll be written sooner. Like the video stuff, you could probably do for your onboarding. So it'd be like, hey. Dan, welcome to the coaching team, so on and so forth, because it would just literally be changing out the word Dan and changing the lips or whatever. Mm. Um, so it, it will it will be useful. I think coaches at the moment are jumping on it, like say to write write me an Instagram caption on yeah, Fat they're, Loss. They're using it to do jobs they don't like doing because yeah. they can't do it very well. Again, so. it's the same it's the same That's thing as like a VA it. thing. Yeah, it, it's you're just if you're doing that you're just one of the lazy coaches like that that that's what you are and you're going to be with all the other lazy coaches getting personality less content from ai you literally have let's just say three jobs to do in this business coaching your clients one creating content i.e marketing two engaging with your followers three that's literally it and most coaches don't want to do the engagement with the following get a VA and now don't want to do the content so they'll get a template or a, or AI or whatever yeah, I just want to do the coaching bit yeah great it, and, they didn't want to do that well yeah <laughs> success coaches and all yeah. this fucking shit um, yeah don't even want to do that these days do they um, but th- th- those are those are vital things to, to, to be doing um, so what I wouldn't be using it for is saying write me an email on this um, <laughs> okay that <laughs> Doing that, it, you might as well not be putting anything out, in my opinion. Yeah. You, you might as Definitely well not be putting not. anything out. Um, so where it is going to be useful is, like you say, potentially in the future, it's going to be useful for, for certain elements. I think um, I think, I think, think time management and structuring, I think it could be useful. Um, productivity, I think it could be useful in the future. Um, I, think, I think in the future it's going to be there's going to be there's going to be an awful lot that it is going to be useful for. I think it can probably generate training programs pretty well. Yeah. At a certain stage, you can already do that. Can you? You can type it. Oh, type no. it on Jack, do the GPT. Just give me a good three times a week full body program, and it's come with back squat. Can RDL, you? Yeah. Yeah. Bench press. I I think obviously well you could you could probably then ask put so many inputs into it then where it's like without this without that and yeah. um, focusing on chest um four times a week so eventually i think that you'll be able to have like our training assessment that we that we use list of kit um uh, areas that you want to train length of session so on and so forth there's all data that we take and then make a program from i think ai you're going to be able to do that and it would probably be able to write a program of your style as well like how you would want to program um it's probably going to be able to program nutrition it's just the decision making that i think that humans are going to be needed for at least for the interim um because of the buy-in, I think more than I anything, think it, like you said, it's it's, the, it's more the the buy-in on the content creation side of stuff, the personality, the fact that you're accountable to to someone else. I don't know if the accountability would be there if you knew it was an AI machine. Would you have the same level of accountability? Is the pain for it the the accountability? You know, there, there's so many questions that are unanswered, but I do think it's something that is worth looking at. And and like you just said there about the first iterations of it, we're kind of only in the first stages of it all. And when you think back to how, like, 15 years ago, what phones were like? 
Like I, it's, I, it's, I think in 20 years, you won't know. It's scary. So all of our clients yeah. Yeah. haven't met us in real life. Mm-hmm. Well, some of them have. The unlucky ones. Um, so the other people who have only seen us online, I think in 20 years' time, you won't know the difference between real people or AI. Mm-hmm. I th- so, I think so then what would the difference be? Yeah. Because our clients yeah. have buy-in because they think we're real. Maybe we're not. Maybe it's the making. Um, I'd have made a much bigger penis. <laughs> That's what I was um, say, yeah, yeah. No. I'd have changed that a lot. Yeah. Um, so in the future, theoretically then, would you actually know you would talk, be talking so to... So this is my argument with it, is I think that when we were talking about this at our event, I think that people are still going to crave human connection. And it's going to be in person. It's going to be... You're going to know that you could type into a computer and you can get AI response back, but you'll know that you're sat here talking to me and we're having a conversation and AI will get to the point where it will know exactly what you're going to say yep. to my to what I'm going to say. Yep. It will know what you would respond. And that scares me. But I also think that it can't speak for you. It can't literally be you. Like, And then in the future, obviously, robots and shit will probably happen as well. But what happens if it was um, not Mike and Dan, but Mark and Dave, right? And they didn't even look like us, but it was just computer generated with how much... Um, how real that it, it can look now, and they just had their own personality, and mm-hmm. that they had their own uh, yeah. opinions and thought processes of how to write a training program and nutrition, and that your updates are from a person speaking to the camera. That is, ne- I think that the fact that you could never touch them. Do you know what I mean? Well, I'll, I wouldn't let half of our clients touch me now. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, get past the bounces first. Yeah. I just, I just wonder. I just, I just, I'm just curious into the future and what it'd be like, but. The thing that scares me is when you think back 20 years and you think that we're only accelerating at a quicker rate. And when you think back 20 years, what was I, 14? You know, and you you kind of think about the phone you had and how life was and the internet and dial up. And that's the thing that scares me the most mm-hmm. with AI is it's not what it can do now this year or next year, even in two, three years. It's where it's going to be when we've retired mm-hmm. effectively. We won't be the ones that have to necessarily kind of I think have it at its, at its peak. It's it's going to be. You say for putting people out of jobs and stuff like that. I think the fear initially wasn't it with AI was it was going to put a lot of manual labour people out of jobs. It's not. It's going to be the people that are more white collar jobs, isn't it? Created like almost people that work in computers. Well, it's, and, it's happened the opposite way around because they yeah. said, like you said, it's going to be manual labour because you can you can think of a robot doing manual labour stuff because there's car manufacturers that are dumb mm. robots, conveyor belts, so on and so forth. Even now cars can drive themselves. You, you would think it would be the taxi drivers, the lorry drivers, you know, the the people, the mechanics, those would go out. But I, I, And you would think back in the day it was, well, creatives won't because you can't, we create humans, but it's actually the creatives that gain first mm. because we're not quite there yet with the manual labor stuff. But the creatives, logo and branding, you could, you could, you, you can literally. There's apps now that you could literally, we could literally, if we wanted to, just get an ebook done. Like in our branding, it would just be done for us mm. without having to pay somebody else. Just use a free trial. Um, Always use a free trial. So, so. Um, it's like yeah it, it's happened the opposite way around like yeah you'll never be able to get anyone to write an email for you well they can would we suggest it at the moment not yet because it's not quite got the sense of humour the tone of voice yet but it's only learning it, and it's gonna it, it's it's only it's, learning from my, us my and then worry. at a certain stage it will start to learn from itself that's when the, the tipping point will be is when it's starting to correct itself and learn from itself because if you think of what we so us as coaches we make decisions based off and and as people and as content creators and writers and um video editors we only make decisions based off the inputs that we have the feedback that we have this works this is effective nine times nine times you know times out of ten or whatever now imagine that that ai has got millions of data points whereas we've got limited data points and then we're limited to our own decision fatigue and so on and so forth they're going to have millions of data points so they're going to have been able to work out the best Facebook ad copy because they've got millions of data points that show which ones get the most clicks so they're going to be able to write the best Facebook ad copy, right? They're also going to be able to write the best calls to actions, the best CTAs, because they've got more data points. Yeah. They're going to be able to run the best sales calls. So there's... there's the, the scary thing comes, though, is when AI will be at clicking on those ads. 
Yeah. Like AI will know what I want out of my own Facebook experience mm -hmm. and it might click on those ads. Like my worry comes with it. And, and this is the thing that I think is, is where it could go crazy is at what point is AI going to be able to write my emails for me because it knows what I would say and what I want to say and would know what I'd reply to certain emails. What stops it sending that email itself at a time that it sees fit? Nothing. And then what stops it going, well, I'm going to send another email and I'm going to actually go, do you know what? I'm going to send an email to this list saying, look, it's not even Dan writing these. It's me. I'm, I'm Danny and I'm living in AI and I've taken over this email list. Do you know? Like that's when it starts getting like, and then it can just send them whenever it wants. Mm -hmm. And I have no control over it anymore. Could probably change its own password. Like that's the, that's the thing for me is it then becomes like- You've the got whole, to think it why. It becomes the whole like iRobot thing, doesn't it? With the whole yeah. like, it needs you, rules. You'd have to think why it would want to do that. It, it would, you know, to know what I mean. That's why the, wouldn't it? If it's got its own, if it's got its own way well, of what thinking. would it make? So it, what, what would it need it for? Yeah, but it doesn't need a reason though, does it? And everything it need a reason. Everything would need a reason. Oh. Everything would need a reason to do something. Um, I feel like it. I feel like that's where it I don't gets think. Scary. I don't think they're spiteful just yet. Wow, well, you don't know, mate. Uh, you, you, look, you don't know, do you? It's, like it's, it's one of those where, like I said, you know, we, we're, we're obviously just chatting about this now and, and trying to provoke some thought, I guess, in terms of you guys and what what you think about it all. But it, it, it's it's definitely an area that is gonna is gonna get. Big, very Do you know in the early 1900s there was a, a famous inventor at the time that said that technology had been taken as far as it can possibly go in the early 1900s? Mad that, isn't it? That is mad. Considering nothing was invented at that yeah. stage, near enough. And like you've just said, if you think of how far things have come in our lifetime, I'm 35. Branded. Believe it or not. Yeah. Um, and it was record players in our lifetime. Walkmans, Discman, Mini Disc came in, went straight back out. I said they lasted not very long at all. First MP3 player, my yeah. first ever MP3 player had 12 songs on it. Yeah. So, what? I had 20. So. I bet I like those songs. Um, it was one of those things like choose those songs carefully because that's USB, all you're listening mine was to. was a USB stick that you took out of the player, plugged it into your computer to put it back in the player. Again. Yeah, same. Yeah, <laughs> um, it was a little silver one, and then it was oh, like the big iPod came in. Yeah, then like the iPod Shuffle and Nano and stuff like that. It started to get better. A thousand songs, two thousand songs, and like you say, phones. My first phone had an area like that. Genuine. Now the now the storage isn't even on the phones anymore. Yeah, it's all over. Yeah, it's it's somewhere. Yeah. Um, if you think of how far it comes, even like the invention of a sat nav. So when we first started driving, it would have been maps, AA auto route. I used to print off AA auto yeah. route because I used to live live away from home when I was in the air force and stuff. I'd, I'd have to make long journeys and I would be reading through AA auto route. Genuine. Um, I have to stop and read it and go right. Okay, left there and fucking take that fucking roundabout. And I'd have to do that. Kids these days, then, isn't it? And then yeah, so then it was TomTom, Tom, and then Google Maps just go. We're just gonna put it in everybody's phone for fucking free. Um, so TomTom Tom was going out of fucking fashion as quick as it came in. Um, yeah. And you think of how quickly things move, and the, this is moving even quicker. Yeah, it's like I said, it's definitely something that you need to be wary of start looking at start thinking about for sure and, and just have an idea of, of what's going on with it because there will be ways it can benefit your business now the thing i don't like about it is this whole like again there's people i've seen online and they're like you will get you know your business is going to fail if you don't adopt ai now buy my course they're and making a quick a book they're making that quick book on it because honestly honestly they don't know enough about it yet and I, I genuinely believe that i think if they're an early adopter now and they're trying to sell a course on it I believe that by the time you bought that course and implemented it, in six months it would have advanced. You, I would just wait. I would wait for a while um, because it's it's going so so quick um, with what it can do. Um, scary, scary times with it all. But I mean, in a good way probably, as well, for half of us. But um, but it's, it, I saw I saw a guy the other day post a video and he was like, "Oh, you can basically create a brand new business with AI," and it was just like a sales pitch for his course, and it was just like. You can get the branding, you can get the logo, you can get the website, you can get your idea, you can get your business plan. I was just like, fuck me, like, like, all right. <laughs> it's not that good yet. Like, it will be in the future, <laughs> really. Yeah. It'll solve problems like that for you in the future. Um, but but yeah. it's going to, they, they reckon it'll solve nuclear fission, don't they? So no they reckon that we're going to be able to have uh, the AI at some stage will allow us to have sustainable energy, which is obviously what we've been trying to do for however many years. Mm. And it could save the planet, provided, you know, global warming or meteorite doesn't hit us or whatever. Yeah. 
Well, there you go. That's a nice way to end the video. Yeah. So, yeah. Being hit by a meteorite. That'd so, be good, wouldn't it? I'm Born starting to know what that feels like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Form yeah, of everlasting that. life, probably. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, don't sleep on AI. Get to grips with it. But don't get it to write emails for you just yet. Just yet. All captions. Stop being lazy. Yeah, stop being lazy. Do it yourself. And join our group. Because it's great. Yeah. £99. BB members. No Send contracts. us a message. Easy as that. Catch you in a bit.